So recently, I did a review video on this Vesta Instafire right here. Uh, and this is a heater, emergency heater, electricity free and cooker. And in the process of doing that, I wanted to, uh, I started thinking about, is this truly, this is supposed to be a six hour can uh, and is, and it's supposed to be extra hot. Is it truly six hours and is it worth uh, you know, it, because it's a little bit more expensive. Uh, it's quite a bit more expensive than this seven pin, which is the cheapest stuff basically I could find on Amazon. And I wanted to see how much of a difference there actually was with that. And then after that, I decided that I wanted to see how much burn time you could get out of one of these Crisco candles, made a couple myself, uh, different wick options. So I did quite a bit of testing and I figured, you guys might be interested in this as well uh, and see exactly what you can expect out of all of these different options. I'm also going to be testing out one of the clay pot heaters that you see all over the place on the internet. I want to see exactly how that stacks up to this Instafire right here. Uh, see if it actually does the job that uh, some people say it does. And that video will be coming out shortly. Uh, but with this video... I started off by testing this Instafire and this 7-pin. And what I wanted to do was see, uh, before I even took temperatures, I, I sat it under a chafing dish. I wanted to see if it would last the six hours that they both state they will. And surprisingly enough, these lasted close to seven hours. So um, I think that the reason they say six hours is because they can't quite go seven, so they can't state that it says seven hours. But they both actually did um, stay on the entire time. Now, there was a temperature difference, and I'll get into that. Uh, but they, as far as the six-hour mark, um, they both did a pretty good job. Now, with this, I also tested a sterno out with this, not for six hours, uh, but I wanted to see what the temperature of the sterno would be compared to the temperature of uh, the seven pin and the Instafire. And I figured while I was at it, I would also test out uh, what these tea light candles would do uh, underneath uh, these chafing dishes, how hot they would get the water. Now with this, I decided to go uh, th this route as far as testing the heat because I figured it was a way to get sort of uniform across the board what each one could do uh, rather than the thermometer thing. So I figured um, how much will they heat up water uh, is a good, a good way to get an accurate test on all of these. Um, I'll go through a little bit about how I made these candles right here in a minute. Uh, I'm not going to go through a lot of detail. Pretty, pretty easy to do. But I also wanted to test this can out, which I'll go through uh, and see if putting this, uh, lighting a candle in this actual Crisco can itself, how that can would hold up. And it did pretty well, and I'll go through that. But as far as the heat goes that all of these will put out, um, I did the comparison. It took me all day to do this stuff, but I did the comparison. And as far as the heat, how much it heated up the water, We've got the Instafire at 136, 137 degrees, uh, which, which it is extra hot because when you look at the other ones, the Sterno came in second at 126, 127, somewhere in that range. Uh, the 7 pin, which is the cheapest option and quite a bit cheaper, actually, uh, it was 124. So just below the Sterno brand, which is... Uh, you know, there's a big difference between the Instafire and the 7-pin, but there's not really between the Sterno and the 7-pin. So uh, that was pretty interesting. The tea lights, it's just what I expected. Um, the tea lights came in at 102 degrees, which was far below the 7-pin uh, and even, uh, or far below the Instafire and even below the 7-pin. Now, that's because of the flame size, I'm pretty sure. Uh, if I had a few different wicks in here, um, that would probably be different because this uh, has got a, a, a lot bigger flame, but these are cheaper. So, so I, it, it was it was pretty interesting because the seven pen, depending on what you're going to use it for, not really a bad buy. It does last six hours. Uh, it puts off a little bit less heat than this uh, than this extra hot Instafire stuff. But depending on what you need it for, um, it's absolutely uh, something that would work. If you did want that, just that little extra kick 
that little extra heat, you are going to have to go with this extra hot Instafire. Um, it will give you a little bit more. And you'll if you watch the video I did of this, you can see uh, how well this little unit did. And if you are cooking something, you're trying to boil water uh, to hook up to heat up some legacy foods or something like that, long-term food storage, you may want that little bit extra heat that's going to um, get that water up to boiling temperature. This one did it because it's got it uses three cans in here. So basically, it's um, I had it when I did it. Uh, two flames were on uh, the pot itself, so it'd basically be like having two of those. So. Uh, with that, with this candle right here, uh, what I did, and I'll explain the wicking process that I used to and, and the mistake that I made, But um, and you can see it in this, this little clip I've got here, but what I did with this can uh, was I wanted to see, one, if the can would hold up, uh, and, it, and it held up just fine, and I also wanted to see how long it would burn, and this burned for about 10 hours, and I don't know if you can see that, but it's about an inch it burned about an inch down. So one of these Crisco cans will burn uh, for about, you know, probably 10 hours. I mean, I don't know what the can would be like. Maybe I'll, I'll go out and finish testing this later uh, once it got down towards the bottom. Uh, but, it, you know, you could, so a little can like this, it, it'll burn for 10 hours. So having light around the house and all that stuff. What's cool about this is if you have Crisco, I mean, it, it lasts a while, but it doesn't last forever. If you have these cans, like we uh, up here, we have one up in the pantry because we don't use a whole lot of this stuff. But once it, it goes fairly past its expiration date, um, it basically comes down and it, it's going to get saved to be turned into some sort of candle or something. So we don't just throw it away, but um, it, it is a, a really good option as far as uh, emergency lighting or something like that. Now, I did see, I, I know there's a, a, the reason I wanted to do this, to test this like this, is because I know some people are just really apprehensive about putting it uh, or burning in this um, this can right here. So they put it in little containers like this, uh, little cans, uh, canning containers you can use for jelly and stuff. What I did uh, was I decided that um, since I had this, the chafing dishes out already, I would fill these up, and I'm not going to go through a lot of detail about this, but you just fill them up, and then I heated it up. That way, everything goes to the bottom, and it's one solid piece down at the bottom there. Uh, and then I took a wick, uh, and I'll explain these in a second. Took a wick and just stuffed it in there. Now, with these, like this clip right here, I, I had the lantern wick. Not really a good idea because it's not real rigid. And as, as you saw in this uh, clip right here, it just sort of fell over uh, later on as this burned more. It just kind of it just kind of fell over to the side and then it, it, it fell out uh, or it, it went out, basically. So I did find that these jute twine, um, these jute, this wax covered jute twine that I have, actually works pretty well because it is rigid and it stays up. Um, and that's what's in there right now. That's what I changed this out to. One thing I didn't do, uh, which I probably will do the next time I have to do something like this, is put a base on it. Uh, like you can see this little one from this tea light candle right here. Uh, I did put a like a little cardboard base on it, makeshift base and stuffed it in there. Uh, next time I probably have a piece of metal or something beforehand. That way um, I can just throw it in there like that. Once they are, they're heated up like this and the bottom is, uh, you know, liquid rather than solid, I can get it all the way down to the bottom of that candle. But uh, Prepper Popery has a pretty good video on how to make uh, these jute twine. She did a jute twine spool. Um, you don't necessarily need to do that. Uh, but this wax covered jute twine is pretty cool because I don't know how much the the wax holds up once the you know once this Crisco gets heated up, but it stays pretty rigid. I mean, this is I'll pull this out here. Well, no, I can't pull it out. Uh, but it stays pretty rigid in the whole thing, especially if you have a base on it. This lantern wick, uh, there's probably ways you could maybe even you know cover this with wax and see if you could get that to uh, stay rigid like that. But it just fell over and it didn't work that well. So. This is, I thought it would be better because, and it is better because it's a thicker wick, which means a bigger flame, uh, which means uh, more heat being put off from it. But uh, 
but that's you know kind of the testing I did on all of those these tea light candles. Uh, the temperature on these, I tested them in the chafing dish, uh, not the greatest in the world. Uh, and you can see the the flame difference on these. Uh, the this uh, wax jute twine I have here actually put off a, a bigger flame than the smaller one I had, which was basically, it was just a birthday candle is what that was. And it actually stood up fairly well. So you could use just a birthday candle and stick it in there. Uh, and that actually worked pretty well. That's pretty rigid as well. But this jute twine puts off a bigger flame. So if you're looking for heat or something like that, um, that's what you would want to look for. And on this, I actually tested this as far as the, the water temperature as well. Uh, and there was about 10 degrees difference just from the, the size of that flame right there. Uh, I think seven or eight degrees difference, the size of that flame right there with the wax jute twine compared to the candle. So um, that's it on this. I just wanted to, I figured since I went through the time of doing this stuff, I'd, I'd explain it to you guys. Maybe you get something out of it. Uh, if you've done any testing, let me know. But um, the main thing that this all started with was I wanted to see, one, would both of these last six hours? And two, was it uh, a complete ripoff to get this lower cost seven pin? Or is it actually feasible? And I think it's actually feasible. I think um, this is worth it if you want to get some of these for that high temperature stuff. But I would use more of this stuff uh, for the average everyday things uh, than the that high heat stuff. This this is going to be, you know, I'll buy a few more of these cans and then I'm going to put these away uh, for worst case scenario, basically, because they are more expensive. But uh, that's it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, anything like that, uh, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, take care and prepare. We'll talk to you all later.